that's where it always ends. <laughs> that's a pretty weird dream, Jude. I see all sorts of fraudy impossibilities there. Probably some sort of sexual thing, you know? <laughs> you know, I knew we should have never moved in together. You don't take me seriously anymore. We were right to move in together, and now that you mention it, maybe we should get married. Look, I got nothing against marriage. Just that, you know, we should get married when we're ready to have kids, you know? Do you want kids? I mean, because we n never really talked about it or anything. Yeah, sure, someday, you know. Uh... Oh, shit. Where are they? Relax, they'll be here. I've been through this a million times. You'll get used to it. They always like to come late, keep the other guy waiting. You know, Matt, sometimes you don't pick up on things right away. <sighs> hey, it'll be okay. This will be a piece of cake. Like now, for instance. I'm trying to tell you something. What? I ask you how you feel about having a kid for a reason. Are, are you pregnant? I found out this morning. Well, that's great! <laughs> I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this before? You shouldn't be here tonight. Oh, shit, here we are. So, you stay in the car, let me take care of this. Oh, don't be stupid, Matt. You got your piece? Yeah, but I just think it'd be better. Let's dance. Cable. Miss me? Yeah, Lincoln, with a fire that burns deep in my loins. <laughs> Me too. It must be love. Who's the femme? It's my investor. I'll take a bite. Fuck you. Meow. <laughs> Are you gonna show us something? Are you gonna stand here and jerk us off all night? Hey, Hess, I love this guy. I really do. Yeah, I'm gonna show you something. Come on. Knock off some Indonesia. The good stuff. Single action. An adjustable rear sight. Walnut stock. Best of all, no serial numbers. <laughs> Clean as a whistle. Or a baby's bottom. You knock it off, Lincoln. Whatever floats your boat. We get these babies out of Russia. Sell a lot to the cartels. Bang, bang, Jono. <laughs> hey! No clip, man. All right. How much? 40K for the whole lot. What do you say? I, uh, I say, uh, you're under arrest.
Chicken, the best chicken in town. Get off the phone, Hammerhead. Let me talk to Mark. For you. What's up, Charnetsky? The regular. Legs and breasts, none of that wingy shit. And bring me plenty of honey for my fucking roll this time. You assholes always skimp on that. Would you like that extra crispy or chunk style? Take a guess. That's my boy. I get off your fucking ass and bring me my food. Got it. Mr. Wayne. Mr. Wayne? Is that a cigarette in your mouth? No. It's your dick. Put it out, please. This instant. I don't think I like your attitude, mister. Well, I guess that makes two of us. He was being verbally abusive to me, Mr. Peterson. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to deliver Charnetsky his food. I'll talk to you about your attitude. It is not acceptable. Now I want you to make sure you come right on back here, mister. Well, maybe I won't come back. Maybe I'll just plow your fucking chicken mobile into the river. How'd you like that?
fucking toys. your partner a good one out there, didn't I? <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna be out on bail by the end of the night, bitch. This whole fucking thing is entrapment.
Thanks for coming. I've been sleeping for a long time, waiting for someone just like you to wake me. We're gonna have a lot of fun here tonight, friend. We're gonna raise hell. <laughs> How the fuck should I know, Miss Cop? Get me the fuck out of here now! Now! You say I got my rights, lady! You gotta take me in the county. I gotta make a phone call. I get to talk to my fucking lawyer. You don't get shit. You killed my partner. You're lucky I don't put a bullet in your fucking head and call it self-defense. you, kid? No, it's the Hillside Strangler. Let me in. Hold your pants on. You're a fucking genius, lady. A lot of good that did. Now, there you are. Took you long enough. <laughs> Took me the same amount of time it takes me every night. There you go, 12 o'clock. Right on the dot. Want beer, kid? Uh, take a guess. Thanks. 
Hey. Did you see Miss July? Mm, not yet. Wrap your eyeballs around that. Oh, wow. Sort of brings a tear to your eye, don't it? Mm. Yeah, that's something else. <laughs> Chicken Christ. Coat. Peterson runs around like he's got a board shoved up his ass all the time. Well, what do I tell you? The world is a toilet. And all the people in it are assholes. God damn it, Tons. It's a joke. You didn't do like I do. Find yourself a niche. Brick yourself in. Take my job. I mean, I sit on my ass, I watch television, take a little hair of the old pooch. <clears throat> That's a life. Take this iguana guy, for instance. Iguana? Sure. This guy goes down to Costa Rica, starts raising them little bastards. <laughs> Finds they take up less space, and they taste just like chicken. Mm. Everything tastes just like chicken. You ever notice that? Frog legs, snakes, even rabbits taste like chicken. Everything except this shit. We're fucked, lady. Nobody knows we're up here. Nobody's gonna hear us up here. What? Somebody ought to hear that. Maybe I better go out and check, huh? Well, you are the security guard. Yeah. Well, it could be a cat or something, right? Could be. Yeah, it could be. Well, I'm gonna tell you something. If it's a bum, I'm gonna kick his goddamn ass. There ain't nothing in this place to steal except some goddamn old toys. You stay here, kid. Well, wait a minute. What if someone comes back here when you're gone? There's an old shotgun there in the locker. I'd rather take my chances with you. Your choice, kid. Hang close. Anybody there? anything here? I just want to hurt something, man. I don't know. It's a storage room. Didn't you hear screaming and gunshots? Yeah. <laughs> Look, I chased two men into your warehouse. One of them's wounded, maybe dead. The other one's handcuffed back here. 
Holy Christ. What the fuck are you looking at? What the hell did he do? He killed my partner. No shit. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna need a phone to call for backup. No, it's dead. I tried it. No sweat. We can use the one in my office. Look, you're gonna have to do it for me. I... I can't leave him. What about the other guy? He's still out there, right? Yeah, but he's hurt badly. Look, call the Jackson Precinct, all right? My name's Gray. Tell him there's an officer down. Let him know that it's a code 30, all right? Right. You know how to use that gun? I was in Korea. Lady, I can handle myself. Christ, what a night. Here. Close the door and don't open it until I get back. You stay there and keep watch. Sure. If you move at all, I'll kill you. Those two clowns are going to be a lot of help, bitch. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
How'd you get in here? Through there. Been sleeping here the last couple of nights. Runaway. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Got a dad who likes to use me for batting practice. Yeah, well, how come you didn't come out till now? Been watching you. Look, things got kind of weird around here. Figured my chances were better off if I hung out with you. Mmm, nice outfit. Polyester looks real good with leather. Very funny. Do you have any idea what's going on out there? It's the toys. They're alive. Toys? Toys, did you see what they did to Charnetsky? Jesus Christ, they tore him apart! Quiet! We gotta get out of here! This is fucked! We gotta get out! Of oh, you're not helping things, all right? Okay. Toys have not come to life. The fucking teddy bear looks pretty alive to me. You saw it. They're all over the warehouse. They're locking us in. There has to be another explanation. Like what? I don't know. <laughs> Lady, you are some kind of cop. Let me tell you. Look, either of you know what this place is? Yeah. yeah it's a warehouse for overstocked toys, shit like that. Well, you were friends with the night watchman. You must know where the exits are. Wouldn't matter. This place is chain tight till the morning. Only way out is through the loading doors. They're open from the office. Okay, okay, he shot, he shot the locks off of one of those chains. We can go out that exit. The door on the north end? Uh-uh. They blocked that off after you came through. That's when I first saw them. Fuck. They're evil spirits, you know. I don't believe in evil spirits. Well, you better. This place is haunted. The spirits are inside the toys. Chairman, I don't believe any of this shit. Oh, my God. What's the matter? Look at the floor. You see? What do you want? Who do you want dead? This isn't funny anymore, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I need you 
most of all, Did you see him? That's the little boy I've been dreaming about. Look! Look, we gotta get out of here. It's that simple. I can't handle this ghost shit. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. All right, if we, can, we can get to the security office, all right? Can you get the loading doors open? Yeah, but how are we supposed to get there? Well, can you get there through those air conditioning shafts? Yeah, I can find the way. All right, then. The, the, the two of you will have to go and, and get out there and bring help. So why don't you come with us? I can't. I have to bring him in. Why? <laughs> because it's my job. Yeah. Well, I'm not too crazy about this idea. See, I got this thing about crawling around in small, dark places, especially with those things out there. Well, I can't leave him here. Chicken? Hey, don't ever mention the word chicken to me again. We're coming? There's a part snake or something. Just keep moving. What the hell was he talking about back there anyway? It's the moment power here. I can feel it. Must be some sort of satanic ritual or something. Must be trying to conjure something up. I need human blood for something like that. Oh, great. I'm sorry I asked. Bet you're sorry you ran away, huh? They don't care about me. They never cared anything about me. Look, let's go. Inside the doll's house. It's part of the astral plane. This is where I live. For the time being. This isn't real. This isn't real. It's real enough. I brought you here so we can have a chat. A spirit, just like your little friend said. A bad one, too. You look like a little boy to me. Oh, I could take any form I want to. I could be this. Bye. 
But I like this form best of all. Don't you? <gasps> oh, God! God has nothing to do with this, Judith. Actually, let's scratch the word God from our lexicon altogether. Let's talk demons instead. Of your physical world. We feed off your fear, your pain, your deaths. But that's not enough to satisfy me. You know what I really want, Judith? A body to hang my soul in. A real body. Blood and bones. What are you talking about? Right now, I'm weak. My spirit is bound by the walls of this warehouse. It's taken all my strength just to animate these toys. Even that took 66 years of rest. 66 years since the last time I tried to be born. baby to grow inside of, and then he can finally be born. Thank you. in that corpse for 66 years, waiting for something to set me free. Your friend's blood did the trick. You see, in order for me to take on a human form, 
I have to be born like a human. At the moment of birth, I ride shotgun down the old birth canal. And I come out instead, Judith. Or should I call you mom? What the hell are you talking about? You know. Have you forgotten so soon? What? You're pregnant. 31 days to be exact. That's why I lured you here. Your dad, Jude. We should have never moved in together. You just don't take me seriously anymore. Oh, man. Oh, baby, help me. <laughs> <laughs> Even now, I'm taking care of your friends in the air conditioning shafts. Act from them with them? No. Then I'll come for you. Then we can do the nasty. No. No. <laughs> but don't worry, Judith. The pain won't last long. I'll speed up the birth. You can be the proud mother of a brand new demon by sunrise. No. That blood's really gonna run.
Oopsie Daisy. <laughs> Give it up, Mark. Each death just makes me stronger. I'm a demon kid. It's my specialty. How do you want your death served up to you? You want that chunk style? Or extra crispy? Everything you've seen up to now has only been a warm-up. Wait till I really get rolling. I was just saying to myself, Lincoln, old boy, you need yourself a gun. And look what happened. Mr. Fast Food King himself comes strolling around the corner with the answer to my prayers. <laughs> How did... How? I played the old Houdini act on your lady friend back there, chicken boy. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> hmm. 
Now it's time to take care of you, little buddy. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. We gotta stick together. Those things are everywhere. I'm just doing what the voices inside my head told me to do, kid. So they say blow your fucking brains out, I blow your fucking brains out. Nothing personal, you understand? I just haven't been myself lately. Kill me, baby, too. Just when things were getting interesting. You okay? I thought you said you wanted to bring him in alive. I lied. Who's a little chatter box? One with all the golden marks. You shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm getting sick of this in a major fucking way. Come on, we gotta get out of here. Where's Anna? Dead. She uh, she got nailed in the office. Okay, it's just the two of us. Let's do it. The toys got into loading door controls. There's no way out of here until the morning. But well, we can't wait till the morning. That thing's getting stronger by the minute. I don't understand what the hell that thing wants from us. My baby. What? I'm pregnant. This thing came to me in my mind and told me what he wanted. He, he wants to take over my unborn child. And why the hell does he need the rest of us? Because each death makes him more powerful. Well, that's great. That's just fucking perfect. I have to get my head blown off because some junior demon has a fucking heart off for you? It's not my fault. But maybe I should just save him the trouble and kill myself. Why don't you? Shut the fuck up! I want to talk to you, motherfucker! Let's get out of here. Almost time.
can't believe it. Mother of Satan. Could this be the fucking end of baby Oopsie Daisy? The fucking what? for you. Oh, <laughs> 
My dear friend, Mr. Cable, was nice enough to tie you up. Or should I call him Dad? All right, you little shit! I've had enough of this. Now let the lady go. Hi, Mark. Thanks for coming. Where was I? Oh, yes. Let me slip into something a little more comfortable before the fun begins. to make you give birth to me, Judith. <laughs> you might even enjoy this. First, I'm gonna crawl on top of you and do the nasty. Then I'll be inside your womb. I'm going to eat the soul your baby and take his shell for my own. Then I'll induce labor. Before the night is through, I'll be born in a human body. Flesh and blood. No! <laughs> <laughs> Such a pretty mother you're going to make. I've waited 66 years for this. Trapped in the earth on this very spot. No, no, no! You won't survive the birth, of course. No. I can assure you of that.
okay now, Mom. Everything's okay. We won. Who are you? I'm your son. The son you're going to have. The demon's gone back to hell. Maybe he'll try to steal another baby soul. I don't understand. I'm a spirit too, since I haven't been born yet. Not for another eight months. But I couldn't let him kill you, Mom. I didn't want to go to be evil. So I found a way to help. So I became a toy soldier. What's your name? You haven't given me one yet. I have to go now, Mom. But I'll see you soon. Bye, Mom. boy. 